Somebody needs encouragement today. I pray that this word will give you that encouragement in Yahushua's name. In my devotion today, Friday, May 24th, 2024, I was reading from Revelation 1, the specific scripture, 117, which says, And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead and when I read how it described Yahushua his hair again many know these passages his hair like wool white as wool his eyes like flaming fire his feet like burned brass and his voice like the sound of many waters his mouth came out of it there was a a sharp two-edged sword which we know is the word. And his countenance was as the strength of the sun. Yochanan, John, looked upon his majesty and fell as if he were dead. What else could you do? Seeing that sight, that awesome, majestic sight. And it just, it touched me so much because right after that, when he said he fell at his feet as if he had perished, Yahushua laid his right hand upon him and said, fear not. And he proceeds to tell him, I am the first and the last. Verse 18, I am he who lives and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amon. And have the keys of Sheol and of death. Hallelujah. When I read that, I, I just, I just got so emotional and I'm just, I'm just, it was awesome to read that because it really I really just got in my ruach, my spirit just how awesome how awesome Yahushua is, how awesome our father Yahuwah is because in all of that in, in Yochanan John seeing all of that Yahushua, he didn't have to, he didn't have to take the time to comfort him. He could have told him, arise, you know, get up. But in that display of strength, power, majesty, he still took the time to comfort him, put his hand on him and say, don't fear, fear not. That was awesome to me. And for him to to go further telling him, 
I am. The beginning, the Aleph and the Tav, the beginning and the ending. I'm the one who lives though I was deceased. And I'm going to live forevermore. And I not only have the keys to the kingdom, I also have the keys of Sheol and death. Oh, hallelujah. That was awesome to me. And it was just, just one more display, just one more understanding of how much the Father loves us, how much Yahushua loves us. Though we tend to get things twisted, well, I know definitely Christianity always wants to say, oh, he's he's a loving, he's a loving God. He's it's all about love, love. Well, you can you could clearly see from this passage the power, the strength that is within Mashiach, Messiah. But in that moment, there is still that comfort that we receive. My devotion goes on to say this. Whenever his hand is laid upon you, it is ineffable peace and comfort. The sense that underneath are the everlasting arms, full of sustaining and comfort and strength. When once his touch comes, nothing at all can cast you into fear again. In the midst of all his ascended glory, the Adon Mashiach, Messiah, comes to speak to an insignificant disciple and to say, fear not. And I'm reading that from my utmost from his highest by Oswald Chambers and of course I I revised the sacred names in that be encouraged that he is still with us the majesty the strength he still knows our needs he is still able to comfort us and meet us where we are at Our Father is not too lofty that He will not take the time to comfort us. I pray this word is a blessing, a baraka to you. Those that are going through, that are trying their best to get through the remnant believers, the wild branches, we don't have long. Be encouraged. Shalom. Have a blessed day in Yahuwah.